<laughs> well, thank you very much, Daniel. I highly appreciate this. I'm just doing my job, Janice. Now, do you want any help with your groceries, taking them home or anything? No, thanks. I think I'll be fine. So, what are your plans for Thanksgiving? Oh, we don't really have any plans. Just having a really good dinner, I guess. Sounds fun. And what are your plans? Uh, I don't know. I'll probably just be working here or something. I don't have any. Well, then you should come over to our house and Stella and I will make you feel welcomed and we can all have Thanksgiving dinner together. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. I would really appreciate that. <laughs> really, it's no biggie. I mean, you do bag my groceries every day, so thank you. And you give me coupons. Like, what? <laughs> See you there. <laughs> Goodbye. Excuse me, miss. I was wondering if, if you had any spare change you could donate to me. I'm sorry, my family's a bit tight on money, um, but here you go. That's all I can give, I'm sorry. Why, thank you very much, this really means a lot to me. I mean, this is gonna buy my Thanksgiving dinner anyways. Just that much? You, you don't have anywhere to go? No. I mean, this will hopefully buy me a box of crackers from the store or something. Just to tide me over. I mean, I don't get food every day. Oh, I'm so sorry. That sounds terrible. Well, I mean, I've been homeless ever since I was a little kitten, so I guess I'm used to it. I know this might sound a little sudden, but do you want to come over to my place for Thanksgiving? I have a daughter, Stella, and, and I know we'll have extra food. <sighs> Why, that's very generous of you, but I don't know if I could just barge on in your privacy like that. Consider it done. I'd be very much grateful for that. Thank you so much. Um, just for a small token of my gratitude, since I can't give you much. Here, take this. One of my favorite books, and it makes a great read. I well, thank you so much. Uh, here, let me give you my address. Perfect. Hi, I would like to purchase this, um, teddy bear. Alrighty. Twenty dollars. These toys have been selling out like crazy. You're so lucky you got the last one. <laughs> well, my daughter really wanted this for her birthday. And her birthday's actually on Thanksgiving, so... <laughs> well, happy birthday to your daughter. There's my money. Oh, miss, I'm very sorry, but this only appears to be fifteen dollars. The bear's twenty. I'm afraid I don't have any more cash on me, and I left all my cards at home. I, I guess I'll just put it back on the shelf and find something cheaper for my daughter. You know what, miss? Bring the bear back up. But I don't have enough money. Go ahead now, bring it up. Now take your cash off the table. And I will give the spare to you for free. That's right, there's no catch all free. You know, I'm gonna pay for it, and I hope that your daughter has a wonderful birthday. But why? No, I, I, you, I can't accept that. Well, you are. Here you go. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much. My daughter is going to love this. It's been on her wish list for a while. I know this might sound sudden and whatnot, but if you don't have any plans for Thanksgiving, you can always come over to my house. Oh, why well, I wasn't expecting an invitation. Thank you very much. I, I had some plans, but they got canceled. No problem. I just wanted to put that offer on the table, since after all, you did give my daughter her present <laughs> that she's been really wanting, and I cannot thank you enough. I'm so grateful for this. Here's my address in case you change your mind. Thank you, I will definitely consider it. No, thank you. Bye. Have a wonderful day. Oh, well, hello there, Janice. Come on inside. <laughs> Hi, Mommy. Hello there, sweetie. Thank you so much, Monica, for watching her. <laughs> Janice, you know I can't take this. I know your family is tied on money, so I don't want to take anything from you. 
Just here, take it back. <laughs> watching your daughter Stella is my pleasure and I adore watching her and watching her grow up. I mean, I have no family since my husband died and my grandkids and my own kids are both all moved on. Thank you so much, Monica. <sighs> I feel bad. <laughs> Nonsense. Stella here is an angel. <laughs> oh, stop. You're making me blush, Miss Monica. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you insist. Being a single mother is hard work. I know that. Trust me. <laughs> well, if you won't take this money, then I'll just invite you over for Thanksgiving dinner, unless you already have plans. Well, I do not have any plans, but I think that sounds like a splendid idea. Great. <laughs> Thanksgiving at our place. Come on, Stella. Time to go home. Thank you, Miss Monica. Bye. So how was your day? Mine was great, Mom. How about yours? Mine was okay. I hope I get a cricket for my birthday. <laughs> or the teddy bear. Those are the two top things I want on my wish list. <laughs> I mean, I... Mom, what... Mom, do you hear that? You do, sweetie, but we shouldn't be around here with suspicious noises. Let's hurry back to the house. Stella! Come back here this instance. <gasps> Mommy, look! <laughs> it's a little cricket. I wanted one of these for my birthday and the bear, and I got a cricket. <laughs> That's quite a coincidence. Oh, Mommy, please, can we keep him? He's so cute. <laughs> I don't know, honey. You know our family's a bit tight on our budget, and besides, a cricket probably already has an owner. Do you already have an owner, little guy? Uh -uh. See, Mom? No owner. Come on, can we please keep him? Uh, I don't know, Stella. This is the season of giving, and we would l give this cricket a wonderful home. And me a new friend. <laughs> uh, fine, we can keep him. <laughs> Yay, did you hear that? <sighs> oh no. What's wrong, Mommy? Why did I have to invite so many people? I don't even think I have enough food for everyone. I mean, all we have is these two loaves of bread, and sparkling water, some apple cider, some a turkey and ham. I never intended it to be this many people I was inviting, plus a new addition to the family. <laughs> oh great, oh great. Uh, don't worry, mom, I got it. Oh, hi, Miss Monica. Uh, hello there, Stella. Hey, Janice, I hope you don't have too much baked goods. I sort of went on a baking overload, and I baked way too many pies and cookies. Oh, the dessert, I totally forgot about the... Oh. Oh, Monica, you really outdid yourself. You know you didn't have to do that. Well, I know that your family's tight on money, and, you know, I bake some of the best baked goods in all of the town, so I was thinking maybe I could just bring a few over. <laughs> it's very much appreciated. Thank you. Let's put them on the table. <laughs> Hi. I used the money that you donated me, and I bought some cheese. Hi. <laughs> Why, hello there. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you came. <laughs> Hi, I brought over a giant bowl of spaghetti <laughs> and a bowl of mashed potatoes. I'm so glad you made it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have any other plans. They were all canceled, so I decided to pop on over. <laughs> this looks all so good. Hey, 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 everybody. <laughs> Hi there, Daniel. Uh, I decided to be somewhat healthy and bring over some steamed vegetables after all this food we're going to be eating. I honestly thought it was just going to be me and my daughter this year, just like it is every year. But throughout the acts of generosity and kindness that you have all showed me, I decide that maybe it's best if we don't spend Thanksgiving alone. And that spending it with our family and friends is one of the best ways to spend it. And I couldn't have asked for a better Thanksgiving. So thank you all so much for being here. And it really means the world to me. And now, let's dig in! <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everyone! So much to be there.